Hello, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama, letssavemama.com. If you've been following me for a while, you know about this very highly leaded spatula. That's a silicone spatula from um, KitchenAid. I don't know, Avi, if you can zoom in to see the logo. Can you see the logo? Uh, one moment. Whenever I write an article about something, I try and include photos of the logo area as well as the full object in each component. So um, if you uh, look up this article, and this article will be in the description of this YouTube video on YouTube. So you might be watching it on Instagram, but please hop over to our YouTube channel and you can see all the supporting documentation, the testing methodology information, the testing kit information, as well as the specifics about the, the item. So this tested positive for over 900 parts per million in lead in the food surface, I mean, in the, in the rubber of the spatula. Um, it's really atrocious given it, these things deteriorate over time. If you touch this, when I'm touching this right now, it feels rough. You can tell mm. it's got a rough surface. So I'm shining the black light on it just to get a sense of what it looks like when you shine the black light without the and that spray. that actually helps reveal all of the uh, little you know, dents. And... The little, yeah, imperfections in the, in it. So this is, and then what happens is when we spray this spray, which is a reactive agent home test kit from the Netherlands, and there are other kits we use in other videos. Um, and then we let it sit for a minute. If it glows green at home, when you try this, then you know it's definitely lead. If it doesn't glow green, then we know that this test kit may not work on this substrate or the coating or whatever you're trying to see if it works on it. So I'm gonna see if this, whoop, there we go. If it glows green at all. We're really not getting any green glow. Oh, there's a speck. Is that green? I don't think so. It's hard to say, huh? So even though we know this is very high lead and very dangerous because it's a kitchen item that tests positive for a level of lead that is more than 10 times the maximum allowable amount of lead in an item intended for use by children, um, it's not testing positive with the reactive agent home test kit. So one, if you have this, throw it out, don't use it, uh, return it to Williams-Sonoma or wherever you bought it, ask for a, a free replacement. You can point to the article on the Lead Safe Mama website. You can look up banana or banana yellow or KitchenAid spatula. Yes, Avi. Uh, and did you say uh, what year it was from or? I It's on the article. I believe it's about 10 years old. So mm -hmm. it's not very old. It's not mm -hmm. particularly new. I don't believe they still sell this exact one. Um, but a lot of families have it in their home and cause it's a particularly good shape and you know, usage, mm -hmm. it, it feels good in the hand. People like this one, don't use it, throw it out. And in a moment, we are going to test another item. We're going to test this. I don't have an article about this. I don't know if it's going to test positive using the reactive agent home test kit. So this is a little bit different than most of the other videos we've been doing recently. This was purchased at the dollar store yesterday. Day before, it was yeah, yesterday, a couple of days ago. Couple of days ago. And I thought, huh, we're we gonna find out if this super dad, because we've got Father's Day coming up, is positive for lead. So mm -hmm. tune in to our next YouTube video. Thanks for being here. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at Lead Safe Mama. Thanks for being here.